Hey everyone, welcome back to my Loom Kitchen and today I'll be showing you how to make this baby frozen yogurt. This is pretty quick and simple to make. If you click the link below this video, it should take you to the recipe page where I listed the number of bands needed and the colors I used. So check that out, come back and let's begin. A few items that we need to make before we start. So first would be the cup rim and you'll be needing four pieces, four bands of your cup color. So you take two of your cup bands, wrap it around your hook twice, take another two and pull that through. You will be needing a total of eight pieces. So if you could make this ahead and set it aside and we'll get back to this later. Another thing we need to pre-make is this tiny leaf for our garnish. And so to do that, you're only going to need a few green bands. So you take a single band, wrap it around your hook, three times. You can use a crochet hook or your loom hook. And you take another green band, double it onto itself, and you're gonna pull that through. Now keep only one end on your hook and the other hanging. We'll work on one side first. Take a single band again, double it, and we're gonna pull this through those two bands on your hook. Now you have that, you're going to take that other end of those, that first band that you pulled through and put it back on your hook. So you have six rounds on your hook now. We're not going to be touching the back two. We're just going to work on the front two now. Take another. Double. And you're going to pull that through the front two. So you have that. Now you're gonna get one more band, double it onto itself, and you're gonna pull that through all the bands on your hook. Now you have four rounds on your hook. We're going to pull the first two closer to the hook and we're going to pull it through the back two. And that's your tiny leaf. You can make one piece or two pieces and just set that aside for later. So let's start with our mini yogurt and we're going to need our regular loom. If you could remove the center row and if you could have the remaining two rows facing on opposite directions, my front row is facing to the right and my back row is facing to the left. Um, I, I placed a marker on one side. This marker shows me where my front portion is and mark, it marks the side where I'm going to have an elevated area for my swirl so I'm I'm sure I'm just working on the same side at all times. So let's start. Just take a single band, wrap it around your hook three times. You're going to take four bands. Pull it through. Now 
Now you're going to take the ends of one pair. Place it down. And the other pair place it down. Now we're going to take two bands and lay them on the top and on the bottom and on the sides. Now we're going to lift just the lower two bands up and over on each peg. We're going to do one more layer on these four pegs. But on this side, I'm going to add our garnish. So I'm going to take my, my leaf, get two bands, two of my yogurt bands, and pull it through. So you could just have one leaf or since I made two, take my other leaf and pull the same yogurt bands through as well. I'm going to place that over here. Now lift the lower four bands up and over. Now we're going to extend from four pegs to six pegs. So on this area, we're actually extending these two bands. Pick that up, bring it here. Let's do the same here. So on the six pegs, we're going to lay our bands again. Lay them on the top or the bottom first before the sides. At least for this area where we have the increase. Now over here, where we increase, there'll be low, only two bands to lift up and over here as well. And here there'll be four. One more round.
Okay, now let's go push everything down because we're going to start our first elevated area. So make sure you have your marker here and your, it's facing the front. Now from six pegs, we're going to elevate this to eight, but get two bands first and in increase it here. We'll do it one side at a time. Increase and exit out here. Exit out here. Exit out here. And on the other side as well. So we're going to stop first. And we're going to place double bands on top of the areas we X'd out. Now we're going to lift the lower bands on this peg. We're not going to touch this peg at all. And on this peg, we're going to ignore the lower four bands. So we're only going to pick up those center four bands. Leaving the new top four bands and the old four bands below. Here as well, center four. On this peg, this is an extended peg, so just the, the bottom four. Over here, just the center four. Over here, center four. And we won't touch this first. Push it down. Now let's extend this portion now. Two bands. Exit out here. Another two. Now we're going to add double bands on all the eight pegs. Lift the bands up again. We're still ignoring that lower four bands on the six pegs. So on this peg, since we ignored the first layer, we'll be lifting the center six bands. So you'll be left with the upper four and the old lower four. Over here, center four. Over here, center four. Over here, extended peg, so it's the lower four. This peg, center four. Over here, center four. Over here, since we didn't touch this earlier, it'll be the center six. And 
and over here this extended peg will be the lower four. Push it down again. Let's do one more layer of double bands on these eight pegs. Now we're going to lift all the lower bands up and over, but first we lift the center four, then the lower four. Center four, and the lower four. Center four. Lower four. This one just has lower four. Center four. Lower four. Center four. Lower four. Center four, lower four, and this last extended one, just a lower four. I'm going to do a last round on these eight bags, double bands. I'm just going to lift all the lower bands up and over. Okay. We're going to do one last extension for our bump and elevated area. So make sure your marker is facing you and you're on the right side. Let's push everything down. Let's get the bands extended here. Stand here. So just up to there, now lay your double bands on top of those X'd out bands. So we're not going to touch this first peg. We're going to go here and pick up the center bands again, ignoring that lower four. Here as well, center four. Center four. This is an extended peg, so it's just a lower four. This is the center four. Center four, 
and you won't touch this. Now let's exit out here. And here. And here. And lay double bands all around the 10 pegs. Now in this peg, this extended peg, we're just going to lift the lower four bands. Over here, we're going to pick up the center four bands. Here, center four. Center four, center four, this one's just the lower four, center four. Center four. Okay, let's push everything down, and this is the very last row for the for the yogurt portion. Just double bands. Now in this peg, we're going to lift the lower four. And this one, we're going to lift all the lower bands, but first you lift the center four. Then the lower four. So all bands, just doing the center areas first before attaching the lower four.
we're done with our yogurt top. If you want, you can push it up. But be careful not to pull it off the loom. I won't push it up completely yet. But we're on 10 pegs and we have to go down to 8 pegs. On this peg, we're going to take the top two bands and the other end of the, the pair of bands of my hook is coming from here. So I'm going to place it here. Same with this, go opposite. I'm going to do the same here. Make the bands here, opposite ends from here, so I'll bring it opposite here. And the other two, the other side. So we're now on eight pegs. Let's start the cup area by getting your cup bands, and we're going to weave this through these eight bags. So two cup bands. Put one end here. Place the other end here temporarily. through, place one end, replace that bag, and place the other end on the previous bag. Go through, one end replaces that bag, place the other end the previous, just repeat that. Go through, the last now take the other end of the very first one you placed on the side just bring it here now bring out your cup rims and let's just attach these these eight bags Now we're just going to lift all the lower four bands up and over.
So let's go to the cup portion, and this is going to go by fast. So let's just get double bands. Lay them around these eight bags. First round. Round two. Round three. Now we're going to decrease this from 8 to 6, so in this extended bag, I'm just going to pick up the upper two bands, and I'm going to bring it opposite from where it comes from, here, two. Same here. Almost done. One round of double bands on these six bags. Lift all the lower bands up and over, leaving only those four bands on top. And we're going to close this. Single bands. Lifting all the lower four bands, so you're left with two rounds on two rounds or two bands on each peg. So 
So we're going to close it starting from here. But first we're going to go across. Put your hook through the peg across and pick up the lower band of the two. And bring that to your starting peg. Now put your hook through and pick up the lowest band and move it forward. Hook through, pick up the lowest band, move it forward. Hook through, lowest band, go to the next peg. Hook through, lowest band, move it forward. Hook through, lowest band. This is the second to the last, there's only one to bring over to that starting peg. Now you put your hook through your starting peg. Pull a single band through and tie that off in a slip knot. So when you bring it off the loom, you should have to tuck that portion the lower portion in to hide the tail and to shape it like a little cup and that's it so I hope you like it enjoy your baby frozen yogurt